Hi everyone, welcome to another Tuesday Talks with Darlene. Of course, I'm Darlene and I am, my business name is The Aligned Path with Darlene and I'm so grateful that I, the name was actually intuitively given to me. It just feels so amazing. And the more I actually say The Aligned Path with Darlene, the more that it just, it feels amazing. Today, I want to talk about how you can actually use your intuition and actually leverage it to help you make business decisions, boost your confidence, and actually help with coming up with content ideas. I love intuition. It's what I teach. I teach intuition and spirituality for business women so they can use it in their business to gain the confidence, to come up with ideas, to make decisions that are aligned for them. It's just incredible. And the chakras are one of the main ways that I talk about that using, um, helping you to use your intuition. I have a beautiful three-month package. And so let's have a look at 10 different ways. One way is actually just having some quiet reflection. And it actually means having quiet reflection. It doesn't mean having things like music on or anything like that, unless it is just beautiful music that will help you tune into yourself. That is the most important thing is tuning into yourself. So please take your safe, take your safe, take yourself to a safe space so that you can do some quiet reflection. You may just want to sit there with your eyes closed and allow things to come in. Now, thoughts, patterns, and beliefs are going to come up. That's normal. The more that you learn to do quiet reflection, and it doesn't need to be long. Some people talk about how they sit in quiet reflection for like an hour. It doesn't need to be. Sometimes five minutes is enough. It is however long that you want to go for is perfect. Again, quiet reflection is the first one. Learning how to trust your intuition is another one. The more that you use your intuition and trust it, the, the stronger the trust will become. And when you're making a, a business decision and something just comes in like that, learn to trust it. Because if it's instant, and especially if it's not negative, then that's you know, that really is your intuition coming through. You can get thoughts come in like, oh, I should do that. If the words should, must, all of that come up, that's not intuition. Intuition is just boom. Like my business name, that was intuitively, intuitively came in the aligned path. It just came in. There was no hesitation, no nothing. So learning to use your intuition and trust it is so amazing remembering that when you're actually talking like me talking I'm actually listening to myself as well and when you do mindful listening when you really really listen without thinking about what you're going to say next you can see I'm channeling so I'm not thinking about what I'm going to say next when you just beautifully listen without thinking what you're going to say next that is mindful listening because what you're doing is you're putting your beautiful energy and holding a safe space for someone to talk. It is so amazing. And when, like, if I do something like this and I want to listen back, I do mindful listening. I shut everything down and I just listen. Sometimes I even close my eyes and listen because even me listening to myself I can gain amazing, amazing insights. The next one is actually doing vision boarding. Vision boarding can be amazing. And when you do it, I really want you to sit in your intuition. Just sit there, sit within yourself. And just, oh, <laughs> just something there. Just when you do that, just look at the beautiful, you might, it, it, it is better to do it on cardboard. I really feel that the kinesthetics is really important to help your intuition coming through and creating a vision board that is really powerful. So when you're creating your vision board, when you're doing that, just allow yourself to look at the pictures you've picked out. Now, a beautiful way of doing the vision board is with the 
um, feng shui, what's called the bagua. It is where everything's divided into nine squares and each one is a different thing. That is a beautiful way to do a vision board. I just, I really do love doing that. So when you're picking out pictures or words, just don't, don't. <laughs> Be really in a beautiful space to do it and just pick the pictures and just put them there without thinking. And then afterwards, you can actually look at the picture because you may not have um, put it on there like with glue or anything yet. Have a look at the picture and think, okay, why did I put that in that square? And have a think about it because that brings even more awareness. Now, journaling with your about your dreams is another way of helping your intuition become more powerful because our dreams are powerful. Now, for me, I astral travel. I do kind of dream sometimes, but I astral travel, which is why I don't always dream because I'm out there doing work. And I want you to learn how to create your own dream journal. Because you can actually look up what, maybe you've seen a tiger in your dream. You can look up what it means. First, I would love for you to write down what you've seen in that dream and what it actually means for you first before you think about Googling. Because that is your intuition. When you write down what it means for you without thinking about it, boom, intuition. It's a really beautiful way of doing it first. And then what happens is you're creating your own little guidebook of different things. It could be, okay, a, a black feather came in. What does that mean? And the next time you see a black feather, you can look up your little journal and go, that's what it means. Does it still mean that? Or is there more to it as well? When you think about things like a black feather, it doesn't necessarily mean just one thing eventually you're going to have a beautiful journal where you can just flick through and see what it means. Another one is body awareness. Now, this one, I really want you to make sure you're in a safe space. And I'm saying this from a space of where I've actually had trauma in my life and I'm now able, just letting the emotions come, and I'm now able to actually hold a safe space for myself and be aware of what's coming up in my body. Now, I worked with an amazing psychologist. I've also done a diploma of counselling, and that had a lot of beautiful techniques and that in it. And I know when I'm not feeling safe, and I won't then tune into my body, because if I'm not feeling safe, tuning into my body, just, it's not a good thing to do. Make sure you're safe. The next one is being creative with visualization. It is where you can actually create your own visualizations, or it could even be where you're, you're listening to visualizations, because that is creative visualization, creating your own and listening to others. That is helping you tune into your intuition. I really do love visualizations and meditations. There's a difference. Visualization, you're not going deep. Whereas a meditation, you really go deep. Your, your breathing slows right down. Everything slows right down. Whereas a visualization, for me personally, when I take a client through a visualization, they will actually speak out loud because I'll ask them questions to help bring awareness and bring information out. That is the difference between visualization and meditation for me. And then hypnosis takes it further. The next one is nature. Beautiful nature is so absolutely amazing. I love nature. I absolutely love it. I've just been for a beautiful walk. And yes, it got a bit hot. It was just amazing when you're out there and just listen. What I love to do is I love to go, I might be sitting on a beach or even, you know, um, going outside and laying on the grass and just listening. And when I listen, I go, okay, is that a bird? What kind of bird is it? Can I hear a car? And I get really specific and I tune in to different sounds. And when you're doing that, you're being really intentional with being out in nature. If you go for a walk in the bush, have a look. What leaves can you see? What trees can you see? What flowers, bushes, everything? And just be really intentional. 
when you're really intentional, it is amazing what you can see. The next one is experiment. This one is so much fun. Just experiment. Experiment with many different techniques, tools, anything to bring in the intuition and trust it. You can have fun when you're experimenting. It is so absolutely cool. And then the last one is brainstorming. Brainstorming is a way of, you, know, you might think, okay, um, I want to think about my service. So you might write what your service is. And then for, um, for an idea, I've got a beautiful Moon Magic membership intuitive moon magic membership and I could actually write that down and then I could just literally write anything that comes to mind and what you're doing is you're bringing in your intuition instead of thoughts so you write down what it is you want and then you just write you do not think about it just write and put a line to where the first word is and just go for it that's 10 beautiful ways of helping your intuition come in with and help you make the business decisions, be confident and actually create content. I'm Darlene from the Aligned Path with Darlene. In the description, I will have this again for you. And thank you for watching. I shall see you on the next video.